come check out some really unique upgrades available on Shapeways from Pop Goes the Monkey. Spiky bits. All right, welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. Rob Bear with you once again today, taking a look at something different. 3D printing is obviously a thing these days, and everybody seems to be doing it from motivated hobbyists to, of course, Forge World and Games Workshop themselves. And speaking of motivated hobbyists, one definitely comes to mind. Pop Goes the Monkey, Matt, over at that Shapeway store, has some really great designs for all of your Warhammer 40k needs. Now, I picked up some really dope pads recently. Now, this is that clear uh, resin, I think they call it. It's available from Shapeways. It takes a little while once you order it to get to you because I think they, they make it to order, but it is a high quality. It isn't, doesn't have all those lines and delineations like the things that you would normally kind of see 3D printed, you know, whether it's at home or whatever, they have, they obviously have some very good machines, top of the line stuff, quality check, everything, et cetera, et cetera. Now pricing, you know, uh, the market isn't there yet. You know, the pricing is very similar to Forge World. Like you want, you know, some custom auto cannons that you get four for 20 bucks. I mean, it's, it's similar to what you would expect to pay at Forge World, but the designs are way more myriad and way more, I guess, um, kind of like a certain way that sometimes we wish designs went as opposed to the way you you know some of the designers at Games Workshop are forced to make those said designs. All the stuff seems to be 100% compatible with um, you know 40k miniatures of course. Now I picked up some Iron Wars stuff because I love me some Iron Wars. Need more, need some more Havoc so I got me the Chaos Anger Cannons in here. I will get you a little closer to give you an idea of that. I know it's hard to see because it is that frosted resin, they kind of call it, but you can tell there isn't, you know, there's not delineations in here or anything like that. It seems to be very highly well detailed in things. Like I looked for all the little lines, didn't see them. You know, the detail is very good and they show you, you can rotate these things 360 on their site. You know, it's, it, there isn't any surprises. So I was like, wow, that looks exactly like it looks on the site, except for it's opaque on the site. So you can kind of see all the details and, and everything. But this this is very true this is for a normal legionnaire so it's very true to the actually havoc auto cannon for the terminator except for it's double barreled they, i think they have a single barrel version i was going to pick up a couple different ones because again i need a whole bunch of havocs now for the new uh legion book rules and then they also have tatarus armor plates now i know again hard to see i apologize but you can definitely make out the iron warriors kind of skull type deal right there on both sides and it's really neat. They come on this like little sprue, you know, very high quality. Again, like I said, that it's it's all it's all right there. And you know, just to just give you an idea of, you know, how how good a quality it is. Well, there's and this isn't an iron wire, but it is an exact Tartarus Terminator, and you can tell that shoulder pad will definitely fit on there. His uh, let's get a side view here, kind of give you a better idea. But yeah, like that's the same exact spacing and it'll definitely work so you know some high quality pads right there then of course if you just want normal legionnaire stuff of course it picked up some iron warrior pads very cool looking stuff again you can see the iron warrior skull right there now they have um i forget what it's called it's like hazard stripe or some some variant chevron you know number 52 or whatever but they have that all on their site this, this pad actually uh, fell off in shipping no big deal and speaking of shipping like they send everything in little individual baggies and it all comes you know in bubbles in a in a hard box mailer so don't worry about these things getting messed up i was very impressed with their packaging and then I got some cat uh, cataphracty pads as well, and these are a little bit well done, obviously, because of the plate nature of them. But you can see in the front, there is an ironware skull, like kind of heraldry pad, and of course, you got all the the hazard stripe lines and things like that on um, to go on both sides there. I know it's very hard to see because of the clear nature of it. Again, I apologize, but you know, just hit pause and you can definitely see it. You can always go over to uh, Pop Goes the Monkey's site on Shapeways, you know, and just kind of pause everything and and kind of look at it, et cetera, et cetera, because it, it, it's easier to see the 360 rotation when it's opaque than for me to kind of show it to you. But just the fact that I am showing it to you and I feel like, you know, it's worthy should definitely uh, speak volumes for uh, the quality of these products. And then here's the, uh, I think these are called Imperial, what is it called? Ultra Legion Pack PAC Eagle. Now this is of course uh, some sort of Voxilla heraldry 
kind of backpack type thing, but you kind of get the idea there. Some really stylized eagles, kind of getting away from the feathery kind of imperial look. But again, very cool stuff. This will definitely fit on the back of, of any Legionnaire, right? Let's get this in focus. I love this camera, but sometimes it doesn't hold focus when I'm moving depth on it, which is to be expected. So there you go, you kind of got the idea that definitely will fit on there. Now this, this of course, is a hybrid pewter and plastic Chaos Space Marine from 15, 16 years ago, but that doesn't mean they don't, they're not the same size as the current ones, right? And then there's a little communications backpack, which again, very cool styling, that ultramarine kind of look with the ultramarine eagle or the non-feathery eagle, and there is actually an Ultraman symbol right there, which you can almost make out, at least I can, through the viewfinders, to just give you an idea how well detailed they really are. And then, of course, these pads that I showed you earlier, obviously, again, very well detailed. You can kind of see it as I kind of cover it up and give it some shading there, but good looking stuff. I'm very impressed. I cannot wait to get these on my guys and figure out, um, I think I'm going to put an order in for some of the single barreled anger cannons because I need like four squads of Havocs now. <laughs> They're so good. I've got all the obliterators I could ever want or and or need, but I need more Havocs for the fourth legion. So that's about it for this one. Let's pop on over there. They have stuff for every legion out there, all sorts of upgrades, weapons, pads, backpacks, you name it, they got it. Check it out. It's all in the United States. It ships out of New York, I believe. So great, great looking stuff. Uh, kudos to Matt over at Pop Goes the Monkey Custom Miniatures. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. TheLongWord.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.